As Cyclone Mijom approaches Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh, heavy rainfall continued to lash several parts of the two states. Five deaths were in fact reported due to rain-related incidents from Chennai yesterday. And the IMD has predicted that uh, the Cyclone Mijom will make a landfall between Nellore and Machli Patnam uh, at noon today, moving parallel to the coast of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. The wind speed is anticipated to reach severe cyclonic levels with a maximum maximum sustained speed of 90 to 100 km per hour gusting to 110 km per hour high alert has also been issued in eight districts in andhra pradesh the tamil nadu government has also declared a public holiday in four districts and has deployed rescue teams on the ground as well so we are closely tracking cyclone uh, migjom that is approaching the two states andhra pradesh and tamil nadu it is expected to make the landfall at uh, noon today and and uh, CNN News 18's Purnima Murli is joining us live from Chennai's Ashok Nagar. Purnima, how is the situation right now? Well, uh, for, a, for a brief period of time, uh, the rains have stopped. Remember, in fact, it's a sunny day. However, the aftermath of what happened yesterday is still visible here. We are coming to you from Ashok Nagar. Remember, many trees have fallen because of the strong winds. The, uh, the winds were ranging between 35 and 85. Uh, they travelled at the speed of 35 to 85 km per hour. And this stretch is not just inundated, but uh, there are many trees in this area, in this stretch, uh, that have fallen. And it is going to take some time for the, uh, for the teams to clear this. As you see, the fire and rescue officials are here trying trying to clear the area, trying to uproot these trees, but uh, it is going to take some time for them to do so. Uh, but this entire stretch, uh, every time is, it, it rains, in fact, uh, this is something, uh, this stretch uh, is uh, waterlogged. Uh, Ashok Nagar's uh, low-lying areas like this one are waterlogged uh, and uh, for normalcy to be restored in Chennai, it is going to take two days. Uh, subways uh, are completely submerged. Uh, and uh, uh, subways in and around uh, 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 Tinagar, Saidapet, all these subways will be shut today as well because these subways are completely submerged. And some of uh, the areas that are, uh, that are impacted uh, would be Tambram, West Mablam, Tinagar, Ashok Nagar, KK Nagar, all these are in the low-lying areas and therefore uh, even though the rains have stopped, uh, the water levels are slowly, uh, are slowly decreasing but it is going to take a long way for the water to be completely drained out uh, especially from these low-lying areas and because the rains have stopped we can see uh, quite a number of vehicles in fact uh, commuting uh, through these waterlogged areas yesterday most of them stayed indoors but today we could see people uh, some of them could uh, go to work uh, remember the Tamil Nadu government has declared a public holiday today as well in view of heavy rains and several complaints of waterlogging across uh, Chennai so uh, we'll have to wait for the Met department but uh, uh, the cyclonic storm is moving towards an Nellor as per the latest update uh, it will make uh, its landfall at forenoon between Nellor and Machli Patnam with a wind speed of 90 to 100 km per hour uh, so that all the action will now shift to Nellor where we could see strong winds and heavy to very heavy rainfall for the next couple of hours back to you Right, Purnima. Also, reports suggest that Chennai uh, witnessed one of the worst rainfall in several uh, years. Uh, uh, and it is also being compared to the 2015 rainfall uh, that had uh, ended up in a uh, similar situation that Chennai is facing today. Absolutely one of the worst uh, rainfalls that the city has witnessed ever since 2015 and some of them say that it is even worse a because uh, within a span of 12-13 uh, hours 20 to 30 centimeter uh, rainfall was recorded in 20 of the 21 places in Chennai. In Chennai there were places like Meenambakam, Avdi, Valsaravakam all these recorded more than 30 centimeter rainfall and that too in a span of just 12 uh, to 14 hours. Uh, this centimeter uh, uh, recordings uh, that, uh, the, the uh, residents and officials say they've not seen it before and Chief Minister N.K. Stalin also asked all the political parties all the parties to come together and help Chennaiites 
go through uh, this entire uh, uh, this entire cyclone and aftermath of cyclone as well saying that uh, this has been one of the worst uh, rainfalls that the city has witnessed and everyone should come together and help each other uh, all the officials whether it's the corporation officials the police department the fire and uh, rescue services all of them are out today trying to clear these areas uh, water pumps are uh, placed at a few localities to drain the water out now that the rains have stopped now all action will begin here in chennai but looking at these uh, uh, looking at these pictures it is not going to be easy it is going to take a while for the officials to uh, to ensure that normalcy is restored for the next 24 hours it's going to be a crucial task for mk stalin and his team right punima please stay with us we'll now just show our viewers the visuals that are coming in from uh, chennai that show the current situation that uh, the city is facing the current condition of the city so these are the visuals coming in from chennai where the roads have collapsed the roads are waterlogged properties have been damaged water has entered the houses and uh, there there was incessant rainfall in chennai chennai is remember witnessing one of the worst rainfalls in several years and this is the situation due to the heavy rains roads are completely waterlogged submerged with water uh, cars uh, are submerged uh, due to the heavy rains that has uh, led to the waterlogging on roads uh, as i was mentioning earlier there's heavy waterlogging uh, inside the subway in fact we were also getting visuals from the chennai airport which was also waterlogged and subways are completely waterlogged as you can see in the visuals uh, this truck is completely submerged in water this these visuals speak highly of the situation uh, in chennai and all that chennai is witnessing we will get you more visual so this is the alandur subway where uh, the the subway is completely uh, submerged and uh, this is just one of the subways that we are uh, showing the visuals of all the subways in chennai are completely submerged in water due to the heavy rains that the city has been witnessing the truck is completely submerged the roads are submerged with water there's heavy water logging due to the heavy rains and uh, chennai and there's a lot of inconvenience that is being caused to the residents in fact water has also entered the houses of the residents and uh, we have cnn news 18's punima murli who's who's uh, reporting live from chennai giving us all the latest details uh punima these visuals that we just showed our uh, viewers speaks highly of the urban planning and the urban infrastructure of chennai that has been uh, talked about since years uh, that um, work is being done on it but the situation remains the same Absolutely, the situation remains the same. Remember, or oh, ever since 2015, there were questions about uh, the infrastructure and uh, the, the the civic uh, uh, planning that the state government should go through. Whether it's going to be desilting of the river banks and the river beds, and whether it's going to be rainwater harvesting. But this time around, uh, uh, after DMK government came to power, yes, uh, they did focus on ensuring that the rainwater harvesting in, is done in many places, which is. Why, whenever there were moderate showers or light showers that the city witnessed, uh, uh, not much uh, complaints were seen uh, where uh, people had complained of water logging. However, this time around, there were two, three reasons why, uh, why in fact, uh, the city, the entire city, came to a standstill. One, of course, was continuous rains and uh, uh, maximum. Uh, rainfall uh, being recorded within a short span of uh, 12 hours, uh, uh, which uh, uh, which wasn't the case like before. There were incessant rains and strong winds as well for the last 24 hours. And also the second reason is also the, the waves. The high tides uh, tried to stop water from entering into the sea. Usually when it rains or uh, the rain water uh, uh, goes towards the sea, but this time because of the high tides even that did not happen so these were the two reasons why the entire city came to a standstill and uh, the place where we are uh, this is also a police headquarters in uh, Ashok Naga it's the police training college even uh, places like these as you said uh, the the ground floor of apartments in these low-lying areas are completely inundated and submerged some of them were evacuated from their residence to shelter homes and relief camps uh, uh, because of the heavy rains that uh, the city had uh, uh, that, that the city had witnessed over the last couple of hours so yes there have been poor planning and infrastructure that, uh, that and that's the reason why every time it rains in Chennai 
water logging is a very common phenomenon that we see here apart from water logging uh, there are also uh, because of the strong winds many trees have fallen and they are trying to clear uh, the area but as i said normalcy is is going to take some time to be restored in the city considering the aftermath of what we saw yesterday Purnima, also five deaths were reported from Chennai in rain-related incidents. Can you uh, share more details? Well, uh, late uh, last evening, uh, there was an official release which said that uh, five rain-related deaths have uh, taken place. Two of uh, two of uh, them died because of uh, because of electrocution. Remember. In 90% of the city, the power there are power cuts. There is no power across the city. Only to ensure that because every single area in Chennai is waterlogged, uh, they have switched off power across the city. Even the street lights were not uh, visible yesterday, so it was completely pitch dark since last evening. However, uh, despite these measures uh, uh, that were uh, that have taken place. Uh, Two of them died because of electrocution. The other three died because of trees falling on them. So totally five rain-related deaths uh, took place yesterday. And today the situation is that there have been several complaints of uh, uh, people, uh, several complaints from people of water logging. It's not just the ground floor of some of the apartments. Are, uh, that are uh, that 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 are inundated. There are uh, some of uh, the apartments. Uh, even the first water has even entered uh, homes that are located on the first floor of some of the apartments. And these are uh, see, uh, these are uh, seen in uh, uh, in in fact uh, Tambaram and uh, those that are located near the Adyar uh, Bank. So these are the these are the places where there's uh, the, where some of the homes are completely submerged, just like how it happened in 2015, and that's why there are several complaints today. But how much of it can can be restored by today? That's going to be the challenge that uh, the current DMK government would face in the run up to 2024 Lok Sabha polls. Right, Purnima. All right, please stay with us. Now let's listen into what actor Vishal has to say on the situation in Chennai. இது எட்டு வருஷம் கழிச்சு அதை விட மோசமான நிலைமையில இருக்கும்போது ரொம்ப ஒரு கேள்விக்குறியா இருக்கு எங்க இந்த ரெயின் வாட்டர் ஸ்டோரேஜ் ட்ரெயின் அப்படின்ட்டு ஒரு ப்ராஜெக்ட் வந்து நியமிக்கிறதா கிரேட்டர் கார்பரேஷன் சென்னை கார்பரேஷன் அறிவிச்சாங்க அது எங்கின்னு எங்கிட்ட இருந்து ஆரம்பிச்சாங்க எங்கிட்ட முடிச்சாங்க எங்க தொடங்கினாங்க தெரியல இது ஒரு விண்ணப்பம் தான் ஒரு ரிக்வஸ்ட் தான் ஏன்னா நான் ஒரு ஓட்டர்ன்றத வகையில நான் கேட்கறேன் ஒரு நடிகனா கேட்கல So Purnima coming back to you we just heard actor Vishal talking about the water drainage project he is asking questions that what happened to that project that will be posted to MK Stalin and his government by the opposition parties as well i uh, remember in 2015 when the entire city came to a standstill and uh, people had uh, similar nightmares uh, yesterday because of incessant trains that the city had witnessed uh, remember uh, the tamil nadu government uh, tried to focus more on uh, uh, the drain uh, the 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 uh, the rain water harvesting and storm water drains all these were constructed to ensure that every time a trains in the city these low lying areas do not have to face the same situation every year so every year it trains all the uh, uh, places that are uh, in the low lying areas have to suffer uh, and the tamil nadu government had promised that uh, they will focus more on uh, constructing storm water drains constructing uh, uh, and also focus on rain water harvesting but this time around because of high tides uh, even that did not happen and now residents say that there should be a uh, that it's a perennial problem for all these uh, places that are in low lying areas and that there should be a long lasting solution that will help the residents cope uh, uh, with uh, monsoons every year because every year it rains the story is the same the situation is the same uh, the infrastructure has not changed despite uh, several uh, uh, despite several governments trying to take uh, uh, measures but uh, now residents say that there should be a long lasting solution uh, so that uh, they don't have to get scared or they don't have to uh, get nightmares of a repeat of 2015 uh, december floods as well uh, this time around uh, this is uh, the question that uh, like vishal every other opposition party in the state would ask uh, stalin and his government
All right, Purnima, please stay with us. Uh, we also have News 18's Hemlata joining us from Chennai. Uh, Hemlata, which area of Chennai are you joining us from and how is the situation over there? Okay, I'm joining you from the 200 feet radial road, which basically connects to the major parts of the cities from here. One, it connects to the Palikarnai uh, uh, side and the other, the Velicheri. And from here, it is very close by to the airport and the other connecting places. The situation here currently is... One thing, the power hasn't restored yet. Second thing, you can see water logging around everywhere. I can just show you the visuals from here. You can see the uh, water logging is still there. And I'm sure the Greater Chennai Corporation and the Tamil Nadu government are stay taking precautionary steps to, you know, uh, bring down the water levels from in and around the places here. The 200 feet radial road, which was cut off yesterday, uh, is still there. Uh, and, and, you know, the vehicle movement is also, you know, quite minimal from here. And uh, the water levels in the lakes nearby, especially the one which is called the Narayanapuram Lake, is still flooded and the water is still overflowing down there. And, you know, the vehicle, since the vehicle cutoff is there, uh, police is, I mean, the Greater Chennai Corporation is ensuring to, you know, pump off the water out and ensuring that the people, you know, uh, make sure that they travel around in, in safety measures. Second thing here is one major thing that happened around you. I'm sure most of us would have seen the WhatsApp videos of, you know, uh, water flooding around uh, many gated communities and the cars just being rushed out. People around here have made sure they park their vehicles in, you know, big flyovers that are around. The one is the Velocheri flyover and the other is the uh, Krompet flyover, which connects from here. You know, vehicles have been parked throughout. Power restoration is still happening on and off. There is power, very minimal power, you know, low voltage maybe. All right, uh, we'll try to re-establish that connection. But uh, CNN News 18's Purnima Murli uh, is uh, with us. Purnima, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Uh, so, Purnima, how much damage has uh, been caused in Chennai? And uh, are the shops, the daily needs shops, uh, operational? And is the food availability uh, proper in, uh, in the city currently? Well, uh, yesterday almost all the restaurants, hotels, uh, grocery shops were all shut. However, today is uh, the good news is that most of these places are open. Like for example, uh, just uh, in the corner of this particular street is a restaurant called Hot Chips, uh, which serves hot coffee for uh, those who want to have their morning coffee looking at the aftermath of what happened yesterday aftermath of cyclonic uh, storm are uh, now crossing uh, the coast and now moving parallel to the coast so yes most of the restaurants are uh, open today and you can find long queues there of people trying to have uh, uh, morning coffee and then read uh, newspapers but unfortunately uh, there are issues that uh, residents have been facing one of course uh, many apartments have complained that they haven't received milk packets which is why you can find people queuing up in these uh, uh, restaurants uh, but yes uh, as I said normalcy is not restored yet uh, restaurants are open uh, we'll have to wait and see how, if other places like the, uh, the the stationary shops the grocery shops are all open remember schools educational institutions are will remain shut for today as well Tamil Nadu government has declared public holiday but uh, some of the residents have complained that they haven't received newspapers they haven't received uh, uh, their milk packets for morning coffee uh, these are some of uh, these are some of the problems and complaints that we have seen so far but if you step out anywhere in Chennai, uh, yesterday there was nothing available for people, no restaurant, uh, nothing. All the shops were closed considering uh, the incessant rains and the strong winds. However, today there's some respite for Chennaiites. Restaurants are open today and we can find people queuing up uh, at these restaurants. And on the other side, you can also find uh, uh, fire and rescue officials monitoring the situation trying to uh, trying to uh, uproot the trees that have fallen because of uh, the cyclone and you can find corporation officials are uh, trying to set motor pumps to drain the water out from these waterlogged areas so all action in place by officials uh, they are trying to ensure that normalcy is restored at the earliest but would take at least another 24 to 48 hours for us to see uh, all these getting cleared because of the because of the water levels that are at least uh, knee deep in this area but in some areas it's at least uh, it's at least waist deep or neck deep in some of uh, the extreme uh, low-lying areas back to you 
Right, Punima. Also, apart from Chennai, which other districts have been uh, severely hit due to this uh, cyclone? Well, apart from uh, there are four districts that uh, have been on high alert. Apart from Chennai, Kanchipuram, Chengalpet, and. Uh, Thiruvallur district. So these are the four districts uh, that, uh, in fact, uh, 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 were on high alert. Uh, Chennai, of course, we are showing you the kind of damages that uh, the cyclone has caused. Remember, the cyclone is yet to make its landfall, but now it has moved parallel to the coast. Uh, so uh, these are the four districts uh, that, in fact, uh, uh, are on high alert. And as I was telling you, this is uh, this is one of the restaurants that is remain uh, that uh, that is now open for public, and they are serving hot coffee. And there are people who have queued up uh, to have their morning coffee. Remember, milk packets have not reached residents in most parts of the city, considering uh, the incessant trains uh, and the strong winds. So therefore, these restaurants are the only uh, are the only respite for Chennaiites. You can see a lot of people coming out and uh, having coffee uh, at these restaurants. So uh, in terms of uh, in terms of restaurants, hotels, uh, grocery shops, all these fruits, vegetable shops, all these will be open today. Uh, because we are seeing a lot of movement here and uh, there a lot of vehicles also now flying on the road you can see a lot of uh, vehicle movement here in this particular stretch so normalcy certainly is uh, uh, will will be restored but if you look at uh, the infrastructural challenges yes even the main road here is waterlogged of course the water levels have receded but it is going to take a while for the corporation to drain uh, the the water out of this place uh, but Normalcy will slowly be restored. There are hotels, uh, restaurants, vehicle movements. Everything is slowly getting better uh, after what we saw yesterday. And officials, government officials monitoring the situation. You can see a lot of action here. We saw the fire and rescue team. Uh, now we are seeing corporation officials uh, who have like come here. Uh, so uh, they, they will now try to see what best can be done to drain the water out of these places. Uh, they are doing surveillance of uh, how bad the situation is. So action from government officials also happening simultaneously as we speak. Back to you. All right, Purnima, thank you so much for getting us all those details right from the ground in Chennai. And now we have News 18's Hemlata also joining us from uh, 200 feet radial road uh, area in Chennai. Hemlata, so how much time do you think will it take to uh, no for normalcy to be restored in Chennai? And what are the efforts uh, that are uh, in place right now? Okay. Uh, see, the normalcy, again, I'm sure after the floods and cyclones yesterday, uh, you can see the bright day coming up, you know. I, I think the Greater Chennai Corporation and the Tamil Nadu officials would have kick-started. I mean, they, I'm sure they would have kick-started their rescue operations by now. And it is going on since last night. And since it's a bright day, first big challenge for them would be to drain off all the waters that is logged everywhere in the city, especially in the major subways that are still waterlogged and, you know, the major roads, connecting roads where water is logged, you know, pumping out the waters would be a big challenge. And I'm sure it would definitely take a day or two for them to bring it down. Second thing is people lying in the low low level areas, you know, since yesterday we've seen visuals of NDRF team and the SDRF team rescuing people who are who are across the, you know, the canals who are staying there, the low lying areas, rescuing them is a big challenge. They have rescued many and they have put them up in the Greater Chennai Corporation's health camps, you know, camps where... And uh, News 18's Amit Pandey with this ground report from Andhra Pradesh Vijaywara on the cyclone that is approaching. Let's take a look. Chakravati Tufan Michong ka asar saaf taur par dekha ja raha hai. Aur is wakt hum maujood hai. News 18 India ke team Vijaywara mein maujood hai. Aur dekhe yeh tasweere dekhe yaha par ki kis tarikhe se barish hone ke baad laga taar barish ho rahi hai. Raat se aur yeh jo... अब सड़कों पर पानी भर गया देखिए वो तस्वीरें देखिए जो गाड़ियां हैं आधी आधी गाड़ियां यहां पर डूब गई हैं और अब जो जो लोग हैं गाड़ियों की आवाजाही है उसमें उनकी कितनी दिक्कत का सामना करना पड़ रहा है ये सड़क है ये कोई नदी नहीं है वाटर फ्लो देखिए देखिए वाटर फ्लो देखिए कितनी तेज ये वाटर फ्लो आ रहा है और यहाँ तक कि जो लोग हैं देखिए पीछे बसों की गाड़ियों की जो कतार है गाड़ियों की कतार कितनी ज़्यादा यहाँ पर लंबी यहाँ पर हो गई है चाहे सिटी बस हो चाहे जो आगे की भी जो दिक्कत है लोगों का हम सिटी बस में जाते हैं हम इन लोगों से बात करते हैं कितनी देर से ये बारिश हो रही है आपको किस तरीके की दिक्कत आ रही है प्रॉब्लम किस तरीके की आ रही है आपको 
वाटर लो 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 तो वाटर चेसिंग कर तो देखिए ये तस्वीर है विजयवाड़ा की है जो एपिक सेंटर से ठीक नब्बे किलोमीटर दूर है और यहाँ पर लोगों को इस तरीके की दिक्कत का सामना करना पड़ रहा है और देखिए आगे आगे यहाँ पर देखिए जो लोग हैं बचाव दल के लोग हैं वो भी यहाँ पर आ रहे हैं लेकिन जो पानी है पानी का स्तर लगातार यहाँ पर बढ़ता जा रहा है देखिए ट्रैफिक पुलिस के लोग भी हैं यहाँ पर न्यूज़ एटीन इंडिया की टीम हर पहलू इस साइक्लोन मिचोंग से जुड़े हर पहलू आपको दिखाएगी And with that, we're now slipping into a very short break. We'll be right back. Hello, Moto. Hello, Moto.